Thank you for tuning in. Today we'll see how to configure and install TechS Plus on CentOS machine. And right now I'm working on CentOS 7. And you can see the kernel version here on the screen. By the way, uh, this video will be available in YouTube as well. For those of you who are not present right now, can view the video after the session. All right, so I have sent to a seven and this is the kernel version. So let's try to install the TechAS Plus on this machine. And I have the documentation available and I'll share the link for the same. As you can see on my screen, this is the documentation and the steps that I've prepared for the TechS Plus installation on CentOS. Now let's try to get back to the machine and let's try to install the TechS Plus. All right, so let's try to go to the directory and the repository file. And now we'll try to edit the file nuxmise.repo. You can get this command from the article that I'll share in the description. So you will have to update the repository with the following URL. And these are the two base URL that you'll have to update inside this file. And then once you're done, let's try to write this to the file. So now we have everything written to this particular file. All right. So now let's move on to our installation of the gas plus utility using yum. And the command is going to be yum enable repo, which is our repo that we have edited in the last step. Nux miscellaneous install tag underscore plus. Click yes. Okay, so now the installation is over. Let's try to check the service. You can see it is active. And all the configuration related to the user profile privileges can be found in this particular file. So this is the file where you'll have to do addition and then adding new group. As you can see on my screen, there is an ACL that permits the traffic from this. And then you can see the information about the default group. And you can see the users, as you can see, this is the default user that is already there, Joe Red. And the login type is set to BAM, which means you will have to have this user created locally on the machine.
and you will have to set the key as well so that you can use this stackad service on your machine on your network solution let's try to edit this key Okay, so this is the key, remove the hash and enter the key value here. So I named it as my key. And other information you can see here, like group admin group and ACL to permit etc And then after that, once you have the key set, we can try Starting the service again. And then we can try enabling it on startup. And to do so, the command is this. So the service gets started on each boot up that you do. And then at last, you will have to check if you have the port 49 TCP enabled. Otherwise, uh, your machine will reject the request for the TechAS plus packets. So to add the firewall rule, you can use this command firewall and then click on this. Okay, this is already there on my machine, but yes, you can use the same command. And now you can recheck the port that we are listening on. So you can see here, this is the TC port on which this particular service is listening for the request. Okay, I see that there is a connect from my other firewall. That's all in this video. In the next video, I'll show you how you can integrate the CAS Plus on 48 firewall, and I'll try to make it for the other viable solution as well, like Palo Alto or SRX. Thank you for tuning in. See you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye. And please do not forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button.